It's time for Show Off Sunday, where everyone has a chance to show off their own car, and here's this week's winner. This is my 2005 Mini Cooper S. I purchased this car a little over three years ago as my first car and I enjoy driving it every day. Now these cars are kind of unreliable and they're pretty high maintenance but they're really fun to drive. When I purchased this car it was pretty much stock except it had an intake and it had an exhaust. But over my ownership, I started to modify it little by little as my money would allow. Uh, I'm pretty happy with where the car is at right now. It makes a decent amount of power and it handles really well. Let me show you some of the bits I have done to the car. Now this is the R53 Generation Mini Cooper which comes with a supercharged 1.6 liter iron block motor that was designed by Chrysler. This car from factory came with 168 horsepower at the flywheel and 162 foot-pounds of torque. However, my R53 is estimated to make over 250 horsepower at the wheels and around 195 foot-pounds of torque. To achieve this power, I have a cold air intake, a GP intercooler, I have a 15% supercharger reduction pulley, which increases boost to 15 PSI. Factory was around 10 PSI. For the cylinder head, I have an RMW big valve head, which is a fully CNC ported head with oversized valves, dual valve springs, and titanium retainers. In the head, I have an RMW Grand Am cam, which is a really big cam. It's got a 264-272 duration and a .450 lift, and the cam nearly touches the spark plug tubes. I, I really like it. Uh, made it to the head, I have an RMW shorty header down there, which you can't really see. And then made it to the header, I have a Way Motor Works non-resonated exhaust. The car also has RMW 450cc injectors and an RMW tune to make everything work. With the tune, the limiter has been bumped up to 7800 RPMs, whereas the stock tune was set around 6750 RPMs. I built the car to have more of a high-end power band, so it just keeps pulling when I floor it. This car doesn't really move fast below 3,000 RPMs, but it pulls hard from 5,000 RPMs all the way up to 7,800. For handling, I have Coney Yellow shocks paired with a set of Swift lowering springs. I also have an Alta 22mm rear sway bar set on the stiffest setting and then I have an H-Sport front sway bar set on the softest setting. The car has polyurethane control arm bushings as well, which all brings a somewhat stiff ride, but the handling is worth it. The upgraded sway bars allow for very little body roll when cornering, which I really like a lot. For my summer wheels, I have a set of NK RPF1s wrapped with Michelin Pilot Super Sports, which are nice tires for spirited daily driving. Behind the wheels, I have what's called a poor man's Big brake kit, which is a set of R56 Cooper S brake calipers, which are from the next generation up Mini Cooper. And these brake calipers are a little bigger than the stock ones. And I gotta say, paired with a set of good pads and rotors, they bite really good. I'm using a set of StopTech rotors and G Lock pads. But enough of me talking, let's rev up our engines and go for a drive.
final bit I'd like to include is that these cars only weigh in at about 2,600 pounds from factory. So they don't really need a lot of horsepower to get them to move pretty good. That being said, thank you for watching my video and be sure to ring that bell. Well that was this week's video and remember to have your car video highlighted here on my channel, check this out. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.